Mel, how do I manage emotions effectively so they don't blow up and hurt the people I love the most? Melan, maybe it's just people that have the name Mel, but I hear you, sister. I get triggered all the time by my emotions, and here's how you deal with them. In fact, the place that I get the most triggered is getting frustrated with my kids, and I don't want to be that kind of mom. I don't want to be the kind of mom that's constantly frazzled, that's snapping at my kids, that resents my, my husband. I really want to have the best of me reserved for my family. But isn't it the truth that often it's the people that we love the most that we end up trashing on all the time? So here's how you're gonna manage your emotions. Number one, you cannot control the shit that's happening around you, okay? So just understand that there's always going to be things that happen that you can't control. That's okay, that's life. Understand that you can always control what you think and what you do in response to the things that are happening. So what does that mean? It means that if you're the kind of person that gets triggered easily, you get pissed off, you snap at people, you build resentment, you're gonna use the five second rule. You're gonna use the five second rule the second you feel that wave of emotion. And I, I know exactly what you're feeling, Mel Ann. I think we all do. You know how that thing happens with the people that you love where you see them and you just wanna kill them? It happens to me too, and it happens to the people who love me. It's normal to have frustrations rise up but it's a choice to let those emotions make you snap. So what you're going to do the next time you feel your emotions rise up is you're gonna count backwards using the five second rule. You're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. The second you hit one, your prefrontal cortex should be engaged because we're drawing the focus away from the interior part of your brain and we are awakening your prefrontal cortex. You now have control. You have the ability to choose what you do next. I use this technique, this technique to manage my response to the emotional triggers all the time with my kids. When normally in the past, something that they did would make me really upset and I would snap, I now silently count five, four, three, two, one, and that alone allows me to collect myself, adjust my tone of voice, and speak in a way that actually is consistent with the kind of parent that I wanna be. The other thing that I found is that the more that I interrupt myself from snapping or being triggered by my emotions, the easier it gets. And the second thing that I've noticed is that by simply lowering my tone or slowing down my pace, in other words, being in control of what I'm doing, it is amazing how much more effective I am actually as a parent because I'm not getting emotional. And I think oftentimes with the people that we love the most, we get into these patterns that are really destructive where we're triggered by each other and then we get emotional and then we use our emotions as a justification to not be great with people. And so all of what we're talking about is normal. It's normal to feel frustrated. Letting it make you snap, that's a choice. It's normal to get angry. Letting that be a justification for being an asshole or abusive to somebody, that's a choice. And it's a choice you don't have to make when you start to five, four, three, two, one, manage yourself in response to the things that are triggering you.